Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you Predator Lilia Jungle. It's actually pretty strong. You'll see it more in higher elo. And I think they even did it in pro play. For your runes, you're gonna want Predator, Cheap Shot with Eyeball, Ravenous, Nimbus, and Celerity. You can also go water walking if you really think you can win the scuttle fight. We're up against one of Lilia's hardest matchups, which is Evelyn. This matchup is really, really garbage for Lilia just since Evelyn has loads of one-shot power. Uh, she can basically kill you before you can do anything, especially if she's ahead. So to beat Evelyn, you have to really pay attention to where she's at. That's also why I win exhaust. You don't have to go exhaust normally on Lilia. You go flash. If their jungler is something like a Kha'Zix Rengar Evelyn, though, having exhaust can be good. And since we, we have Nimbus, when we exhaust them, we'll get a speed up anyways. And they're going to be slowed. So in a weird way, it's kind of like having a flash. But yeah, normally you're going to go flash. But in these cases, you're gonna go exhaust. You wanna land Q tippers, it does more damage. You get lots of extra true damage. Your auto range is about the range of a Q, not quite as far. That's how you can judge it. Hopefully my teammates don't steal this from me. There we go. We're gonna get our W now. You can go around edges and corners with it, but you can't go over walls with it. It also negates slow. So if you get like Nasus withered, uh, you can can't basically it's like that you're not you're temporarily not slowed whenever you use it It's like a linear amount of movement speed regardless of how big a slow is on you. So it can be a pretty good escape tool You want to try to keep your prant stacks up at all times to help you get from camp to camp faster Try to weave in auto attacks as well. They are technically ranged similar to, similar to a thresh auto we're gonna try to pull this over. So we still have our four prants. You normally want to look to full clear on Lilia. That way you can just hit level six faster. She's a huge level six power spiker. And since she clears pretty much full HP, whenever you hit a champion or a uh, monster with an ability, you get a bunch of health back from your passive. So. She does get to clear so healthy, you might as well. Just getting my red buff burn and trying to put some ability burn on both. Trying to hit it with a tipper. It's getting a little bit out there though. Your full clear isn't going to quite be a 315. You're going to finish your full clear more around 320 generally. We missed it. Feels bad. York's full HP. My millionaire just died. I think he's backing because he's low on health. Evelyn must have pathed down from, uh, she must have started on her red buff. Yeah, Jax is backing right now. I turned on my sweeper just in case Evelyn came up from behind in the bush. The camp you're going to invade the most, if you do get the chance to invade, is going to be the enemy's raptors. You can take those super easily. If you're gonna gank, just make sure you come up from behind. She's hitting him with CC, so I'll toss out my E. Got a Q off. I'm gonna hold on to my W until he flashes. Never mind. I decided to use it early just because we had him cut off, and then he was walking a weird way to where even if you flash my W, Riven could have caught up with him and he was out of mana. But yeah, generally you kind of hold on to your W until they flash because you can end up locking yourself in the wrong direction. All right, let's take these. We have two Prant stacks up. We're moving at 364 pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and use my E. And you see how I'm keeping it away from the bush? That way if she does show up, she can't really threaten anything on me. Jack's mid is actually a really weird pick, but I mean, Trindamere mid is meta, so. We're gonna hit, her, hit him with our E, W, Q. I'm gonna exhaust him as well. Turns out he had flash still, even though he's soloed, killed Lux. That's unfortunate. Looks like Evelyn's bot side. I already got her Raptors, and I don't want her to go into my jungle. So I could like swing up to her golems. But uh, like if she stays in my jungle and gets these two camps, and we're just trading rather than me being up a camp. She is low on health though, so it's a good chance she's actually backing right now. She's not backing, she'll be really low health in her bot side jungle. 
Her camp should be spawning back in shortly from the bot side. She obviously cleared top in the bot there. 28 CS, that's full clear plus scuttle. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, I did my W. I wasn't close enough to the corner yet. That sucks. I only have one Prant stack up now, too. I think she's going to check her topside jungle first, probably. I'm going to go ahead and leave one wolf so it doesn't reset. Yeah, Lux is struggling. Jax has a lot of bursts. He's running Electrocute Jax mid. I might have to try that. Trinitary mid is really, really good. He doesn't have mana cost, and he has super high base health regen. Jax mid's interesting. It might just be because Lux mid is so like underwhelming of a champ, though. Toss out E, we'll smite it. Take off its shield before our abilities land. We haven't actually backed yet. This is very common though. If you can on Lilia, you just farm till you're six. And it ends up working better. I just have nothing to gank. Zen we bought Lin just back. I don't really have any camps to farm right now. We'll just go ahead and back. First item rush, you're gonna get tier one boots. If you have enough gold, then you'll get Lucidities. And then if you have enough gold, you'll usually get a Dark Sill. Then you'll grab Amp Tome and then a Control Word. Make sure you have Oracles at this point, obviously as well. Just likely gonna path down and get nothing. You wanna look at your teammate CS to see who you should really be paying attention to. It's like my best lanes are my top and mid. I mean my top and bot. You can take red and wraps at the same time, technically. It's, it's hard. You can't really do that level one, though. You generally need level two or level three. Makes it a lot easier. And toss our E and your E's AoE. It's like I was talking about with your W going around walls and edges. It's like with a Riven Q when you see your go around. It's like here, it's an edge, but I can jump over a huge chunk of it. You just can't literally go over wall pieces with it. Jax is shoving this in. I want to get this XP. If I can get to this wall, I can soak all of this like this. So I'll be getting these minions over the wall. So I'm basically getting the monsters and the minions, which is nice. I don't really think I can, uh, maybe I can gank him out of my Predator. He doesn't have boots and he's going AP, which is super greedy. We're going to go ahead and Predator now that we're behind him. We're going to toss out an E. And I want to kind of hold on to my R a little bit, but he's dead. You don't have to R immediately, especially if they have nowhere to run to. Like, we have tier 2 boots, he has no boots. That's why I was holding on to my R because we landed E. Where is she? Oh, she's six. Got 450 on my smite. Got it. Oh, she's in trouble, I think. She, yeah, she has no R. She's dead. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Like, if Evelyn's not fed, you can actually deal with her on Lilia. It's, it's really a hard matchup for Evelyn until Evelyn gets a lead. Once Evelyn has a lead, it's free, but I still had my exhaust. I was holding on to my smite to smite the camp to get help back as well. Because I I play Evelyn, obviously, <laughs> so I know how much damage she can do based on her level and items and whatnot. Don't really know where... Uh... Like, Jax has full prio right now, so I'm a little nervous to roam into Evelyn's jungle and take her wraps. And... York has prior right now too. That's why I'm not really invading at the moment. We'll go, we'll go. Where are we gonna go? York. I don't know. It's a tough call. I think feel like Jax is the easier game because once he goes in, he can't really get out. Like he's trying to freeze it. So if she just steps up, he'll jump on her. Like that's what he's trying to do. She needs to like step up farther though. She's too far back. See her wraps are coming up. It's yellow, that's 10 seconds or less. Gray's like 40 seconds. Okay, we're gonna run out with Predator on. Miss our E at point blank range. She doesn't have a She 
she doesn't actually have her R. I, I kind of missed everything in that fight. Auto attack W. Oh, I think I just killed myself. Just barely lived. I might actually have to kill myself over here. I think it's worth to kill myself. I hate to do it, but I have no idea where Evelyn is and York went missing. I almost killed Evelyn under turret when I was diving her. Just that last cue that I dipped back into turret range for missed and turret per shot against champions heats up. That's why it seems like sometimes turret does way too much damage because it goes up, I think all the way up to two or three times base damage like per shot. It ramps up by like 25%. So I was doing a lot there. We'll go for our Leandres. It's a really freaking good item. Really, really good item. And then we'll be building some tank stuff. Leandres just works so well with Lilia passive. It's hard not to build it. After Leandres, you can go Hourglass, you can go Dead Men's, you can go Cosmic Drive. You have a lot of options. Generally, Hourglass is the best if you're already back into team fighting. I need to get this XP over the wall. A little bit. I'll play for Dragon and I'll try to keep invading Evelyn because she can't fight me at all. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to pray her for this. He's inside my circle, so I'll get the speed up. My R's up in 10. We're gonna run up. I still have the speed up bonus. I'm gonna arm. He's dead. Or he should be dead. Nice. So Pike just ran away. He was super low. That's kind of funny. Her blue's down. Blue's down, but her Grom's up. That's kind of weird. She have her wolves up? She hasn't finished the wolf. What the heck? I'll finish it for her. I'm a nice guy. Let's go get that dragon now. So in that last fight, since we had so much distance to chase them, I didn't immediately hit them while my predator was on because I wanted to get up closer into melee. Once your predator's activated and you have the moon seed bonus, your first hit against them will do bonus damage, but it, you'll also lose your movement speed. Predator lasts for like... How, I don't know how long it lasts for, but it feels like it lasts for like 8 or 10 seconds. So if you hit them, you're going to be losing that. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. At least we got the dragon though. I could have used my exhaust and maybe lived with the speed up. Or another thing I could have done is just use the dragon as a mute shield to block the pike Q. That would have worked really well too. Go ahead and get our Leandres. The enemy team is... I mean, they have two AP champs. Probably better off just going Cosmic Drive then. Since it's not building armor or magic resist, it's just HP and other useful stats. I won't be wasting resistances. I'll go bot lane. They're a really easy gank. They don't have that much mobility. It's only the pike does. I can run Jinx down, especially if she's up that far. It's just free. Generally, before ganks, you are looking to uh, get your prant stacks up, though. What is this rat doing? He did a lot of damage there. He freaking hurt. I guess he applied his electrocute. I wish my mid laner was over here so he can't do stuff like that. He just got my raptors. That was, that was kind of weird. Yeah, he really hurt though. AP Jax has some burst to it. His build is not gonna scale though, I can tell you that right now. When he tries to scale with that, it is not gonna be pretty. Let's see if we can take some camps. We toss it over walls, it blows up on any structure. Anything solid, like even a Nivea wall or trundle pillar, turrets, inhibs, anything like that. Ooh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay my pink. Never mind, it's already in a good spot. Just think, yeah, you know, I'll lay it just since we're over here. Got some of Evelyn's camps. Pike's really low. I think we can kill him. We're just gonna auto attack blue smite him. He's dead. Run in, got the kills. Jinx and Pike are getting mowed over. They need their mid lane and jungle to make something happen on the other side or just like start helping them basically. Wasted the blast cone. Still have exhaust. I'm pretty much just gonna save it for when. Uh, Evelyn or Jax gets on me, or York in melee. Her camps are down. She's probably gonna walk into me. She's breaking the control ward. Jax is super low on health. She's charming to Harold. I heard the visual bug. Uh, can I get to her? No, I can't. awkward i didn't quite have the movement speed i'm healing up a lot off this this uh herald though because my passive passive healing op you can't kill me bud we're gonna go ahead and predator run all the way into melee with them hit him with an e qw he's a goner i love predator man feels so good I think her raptors are back up because I already checked them. Nice. I can take her camps. And then once Lilia starts building a lead on you, it gets really bad. She just takes all your camps. She can do it safely too. If you ever played against Talon Jungle, it's kind of like that where even if your whole team surrounds him, it can be tricky to kill it. Because I'm on my four Prant stacks moving at 520 right now. It's pretty, pretty tricky to deal with. 520 is faster than a Janna with boots of mobility. To give you some perspective, Jana with Mobis, with her Zephyr maxed, is generally like 460, I believe. So this is significantly faster. Any champion with Mobis is generally moving at like 540. I, I'm sorry, at 440. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, we'll pull off. We'll keep farming. We could back for items though. My R is almost up, which is why I kind of don't want to back. Can throw a bowling ball all the way over there as long as Scuttle doesn't get in the way. Oh, we got Evelyn, but we didn't hit anything else. We got three Prant stacks. I'm gonna toss my E out. Didn't get anything. Go ahead and Predator, I guess. How does this Pike actually land everything? It's insane. Ah, oh, he's so good at hooking, man. I juked back. Like, I could have ran forward and literally killed Jinx, but he predicted my juke back. Simply absurd. I lost a bunch of Dark Seal stacks for that. We'll get Cosmic Drive. We could go for Robidon. Normally, at this point, you would want, like, Hourglass. Cosmic Drive gives you some movement speed. We'll go for... I guess we'll go Zhonya's now. Zhonya's is really good on Lilia. You can set up R's, you can like get in deep, land multiple hits on the targets to get your R. For those of you who didn't know, you have to hit the enemies with an ability to use your R against them on Lilia. So autos don't count, your sums don't count. You actually have to hit them with an ability, and then if it's within, I think it's like within the last three seconds, or it's like why your passive lasts. So if you hit them, your passive lasts for three seconds, so yeah. You get someone with an ability within the next three seconds, you can press R, so if you can get a huge multi-hit. I'm dead. Yep, that is the danger. That is the danger of Lillian to Evelyn right there. She lands that charm. Just it does you in dirty. With any kind of it's her charm's not really a skill shot. Like it's not guaranteed, but it's also not a skill shot. With skill shots like Lux Snares and Morgana Snares, they're usually pretty easy to dodge. 
Because Lily is hitbox isn't that big with point and click CC like Malzahar or Evelyn Charm is super annoying. I'm hoping we get this dragon. The enemies aren't really fighting for it. Should be able to. After Hourglass, we'll probably grab uh, Force of Nature and Dead Man's for more movement speed and tankiness. I have to come over here. Figured we'd win it really easily. Yep, Jack's done, ran out while he was snared. My Predator's on a cooldown. Gonna Predator in. Gotta hit him with an R. He's dead. Nice, that's Dragon. Kind of stole that from me because I should have held on to my smite. I used the smite really to take off its shield. I didn't really think she was going to try to wrestle me for it. Happens. Hey, free camps. You can hit them both with all of your abilities, your Q's, your W's, your E's. Everything. And then you get to just run around and absorb resources like this. I'm going to turn on my sweeper. I don't know where Evelyn is. I do have my exhaust. If I run into her, she shouldn't be an issue. They're really going for this, huh? My predator on. Landed my E from a distance. I don't really know where they're at. Oh, there's Evelyn. Did she just juke her out? I think Evelyn just juked the Riven there. Riven should be able to catch up though, because Riven's very balanced. We're gonna step all the way up. Could try to get our prance stacks back. We basically just took two minion waves there. It's a lot of golden XP. Makes it hard for people to split push if they don't have any minions. I'm not gonna juke against this Pike anymore. He literally, he literally just doesn't. He he literally predicts the juke every time to where I didn't juke and I was fine. You just you just have to force it sometimes. Force them to actually make the skill shot happen rather than assuming you're gonna juke. That's why it can turn into a 50-50. They either, they're guessing you're gonna keep running in that linear fashion or you're gonna pull back temporarily. My predator's up. So close to that wall, I didn't bother. I'm back and we'll grab hourglass. We'll also grab uh, force of nature. Almost, you know, we'll, we'll get the uh, match then we'll grab force of nature. Almost all the damage we're taking is magic damage. Get me away from that rocket. You can also try to bowl from across the map. Just press your E and it's gonna go wherever your cursor is. The thing is if there's any structure or a minion in the way, it's, it's in the way. Anyways though guys, I hope you enjoyed this Predator Lilia Jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.